So do you want to travel to space? I hear it's pretty hot. I'd like to go to Mars. I think it would be a lot warmer there. You don't have any water, so I think that would be a nice break from the flooding. <laughs> and also, I, th I bet you heard on like the news or something, there's a guy who's trying to build an elevator that goes up to space. Yeah, and it's I did hear about that. it's probably not gonna work. Like the guy's gonna build it like a quarter mile long and he's gonna be like, I ran out of budget. Do you guys wanna travel to outer space? It's too long. Take too long to get there? Yeah, it's like, it's like, Five days. Five days to get to outer space. Yeah, so you don't want to go. You don't want to travel on a spaceship. Only if you had a mini refrigerator. If I could, i get one of the catch a trip to Mars things where you um, go on a shuttle and then they you blast off to Mars and you live there for the rest of your life. Yeah, you would want to live there? No, I wouldn't. I hear that there's a station where all uh, space people live up for like a week or so. Would you want to live up there? If it, if it was a week or a year or so, definitely no. I would be way too hot. Yeah. If they have air conditioning, yes I would, but if they don't, I'll be like, oh my gosh, who would build this super space station if it didn't have air conditioning? What, what's the biggest challenge facing humanity over the next century? A meteor. A meteor? Mm -hmm. Potentially what? Hitting hitting the Earth or? It's like what happened with the dinosaurs. If that happens, then we'll be in trouble. What do you think could be done to stop that from happening? I think astronauts could go in space, and scientists they could invent like a scientist can invent a giant robotic hand that can blast in space, and then they could grab it, then they could throw it back. Uh, if you could ask an astronaut any question, what question would you ask him or her? I would ask him how to build a spaceship. <laughs>